what do you what do you think is the most important? What do you think the most important uh, uh, medium term uh, news story is for right now of the next few months to be following? What are you following? Yeah, well, I try to follow everything, uh, but uh, um, I think the uh, the biggest news story is how I think what the U.S. is trying to figure out in Afghanistan is how to get out without significant loss of face uh, geopolitically. And that's not easy. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of maneuvering going on because so many people have different kinds of interests. Uh, first of all, within Afghanistan, but just all the neighbors, uh, Pakistan, India, Russia, Iran, uh, all have different kinds of interests in terms of what the outcome would be in, in Afghanistan. And, and, and so it isn't as though uh, everybody can get together and work out a, a nice deal. And when the U.S. left Vietnam, uh, one of the things they could count on when they left Vietnam, and they left Vietnam in defeat, basically, one thing they could count on was that the other side was very tightly organized. The, uh, the, uh, the, the Vietnamese communists were, were a strong, coherent force. They could give orders. They could tell people, don't shoot at the plane uh, that's taking off. Right? And they didn't shoot at the planes that were taking off. That's very important. There, there's no equivalent guarantees in, in the Afghan situation. There's no, there's no equivalent political structure. The, we, we, we talk of the Taliban, but there are multiple Talibans. And there isn't, uh, Mullah Omar can't simply give an order and be guaranteed that all his people will, will, will carry it out. That's, that's, that's fantasy. Um, and uh, and uh, Kar Karzai, uh, who's uh, you know try not only trying to survive, but he's in he's in the strong position of there's nobody to replace him, so he's he's irritating the hell out of the United States at the moment, uh, but he can get away with it because we don't have a substitute. That, that can, can play the role. We put him in there. The uh, U.S. really did put him in there um, precisely because he had all the characteristics that he has. He is uh, a, a Pashtun. He has uh, links all over the place. He is uh, a fairly smart guy. He, he is able to work with uh, all sorts of northern types uh, by making deals, but quote, corrupt deals, but so what? I mean, that's the nature of the po political situation, and there isn't a substitute. So the U.S. can be very upset with them, but they can't do what they did with, with in Vietnam, which was throw out no Dien Sim, and that didn't do them any good anyway. But so, the U if you want to follow the most difficult geopolitical situation at the moment, it's to watch the maneuvering in uh, in Afghanistan, I think U.S. will pull out more or less in some way or other two or three years from now. Um, even General Petraeus is, if you read his stuff carefully, talking of that. He wants to pull out with what he thinks of as a victory or which he can present as a victory because he's, he's invested um, personally and his career-wise and so forth in that, but he's no dope. He's a really a very smart fellow, and he knows uh, the limitations of his real power, and so he's trying to um, maneuver uh, a pullout which will reflect well on him, uh, because I think he has political ambitions. He does. And um, well, there you are. I mean. Uh, if you're asking me one situation to follow worldwide, I'd follow Afghanistan very carefully.